Hello again, this is Jeff Moriarty with another episode of Isn't Rocket Surgery here with my partner in crime, Evo Terra. Our topic today is another digital publishing one, specifically crappy books on Amazon.com. Does it matter? Yes, is the short answer to that question, Jeff. It, it matters. You have a lot of authors out there right now that are writing their own stuff, they're finding their own ways to get through and get their things done. Uh, and they're looking at marketplaces like Amazon.com to, to put their work out and, and get it a, across a, a wider audience. And I support that, but I think there's some damage that they're doing when that happens. The iTunes ecosystem has a similar problem, where developers put out an app for free and people download it who wouldn't necessarily really be interested in it. So even if the app is good, it's getting a bad review, and the developer is getting a bad reputation. So people look at this app and then are less inclined to download it because they think, hey, this is junk. They're hurting their own reputation by putting things out for free that aren't fully baked. I, I think that's a very similar situation we're seeing in ebooks, and I'm a big fan of putting things out for free for the simple reason that people will download it, that they wouldn't have normally downloaded and paying at any price point. But it's got to be good. It's got to be solid so that it's, it's worth some quality. If you don't do a quality app that or a quality book in this particular case, that's when those negative uh, reviews happen. And those things can chase you later on. Even if your next book gets professionally edited and you put it also out there on the Amazon.com, it's the once bitten, twice shy. There's a twice bitten, once shy. Whichever way it is, that starts to kind of follow that author along. They're known for being inconsistent right out of the gate. And I think that's a mistake. There's definitely a lot of shy things being bitten here. Well, let me play devil's advocate. I, okay. I, I, I agree with you, but... I'm an independent author. I've got something I want to put out. Uh, I'm going to put it up for free. I don't want to spend a lot of time, or maybe 99 cents. I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going to make a couple bucks off of it. Uh, it's going to hurt the ecosystem, la di da. I'm going to make my money off of it. A couple of things that are, are a problem with that. Um, a lot of people that are downloading these books don't know the difference between your crappily produced book and something that's of higher quality. That's one problem. Uh, but I think the, the larger problem is the expectation of, of, of making money. I mean, realistically, how much money are you going to make on a book that you didn't bother to edit, that you had your niece make a cover art for? Uh, when you say a couple of bucks, and a lot of people say that, I want to make a few bucks on that. That's really all you're going to make, a few bucks. A handful of dollars here and there from somebody who accidentally downloaded your book. Now, there are some people that may think that it's all fantastic, but the reality is, is, is 50 bucks at the end of the year a lot of money uh, for some I get that it is but is it worth the time energy and effort you put into writing that book in the first place is that enough for you to say success I don't think that it is well and to the ecosystem point if aspiring writers are looking to exist just in the digital space and people are making the shift from traditional publishing to digital they right. got their Kindle fire for Christmas sure they're trying these books out if everything they download that's all digital is junk they're going to think, you know what? This is these are bottom feeders. Right. I'm going to stick to e versions of print books, and they're not going to make the shift. Readers aren't going to make the shift into the purely digital space, which is what we need them to do. Well, we do, and we need them to explore. We need them to go deeper in the catalog and find things that aren't necessarily from the top ten New York Times bestsellers list. We need them to go further down and, and really understand the things that are out there. But again, if we continue to throw trash at them, then that's that's not going to help. A much better plan for the author who wants to get some real feedback is to not use Amazon.com at all. Not use the traditional marketplaces where, let's just call them normal readers hang out. Use places like Wattpad. Use even Smashwords if, if you want to put it to a some marketplace where people can download things for free. Or make it into a free PDF and put it on your website instead of to all your friends on Facebook. Those are all great ways to get your name out there and get it spreading without damaging reputations. Yeah, And I think they can be free ebooks, can be a great uh, intro and leader. They don't have to be works of art, but then don't put them in the marketplace where people are expecting high quality. Yeah, that's the idea. There is an expectation of quality that's already out there, and if you can't meet that bar with this particular book, don't put it up against those other ones. And after all, it is a rocket surgery. <laughs>